I was on a plane going from New York to LA this year, and they've got proper fat people in America. Oh, really, they put ours to shame, really. <laughs> You see one and you think, oh, it's a fat person, I've seen that. We got them in England. Yeah, big fat face. Big... What the fuck are they? <laughs> it's like they've gone, I've got as fat as I possibly can. We need to get an extension. We need to... <laughs> what the fuck? Some of them have got shelves. Actually got shelves. Like, they keep biscuits on them. Like, oh, fucking... Ooh. Oh, ooh. <laughs> and... Me and my girlfriend were one side of the plane, OK, then there was the aisle. Then this side were two really big, fat women, OK? And one was even fatter than the other one, right? In fact, she got on and she went, just blasé, quite loudly, she went, can I have a belt extension? And they went, yeah, sure. Yeah, of course you can, you've earned it, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> proper fat. In fact, I was thinking of calling the pilot out and going, should one of us swap with one of them? <laughs> Otherwise, we're just going to Canada. I mean... <laughs> and she was there, OK, and she'd got on the plane with one of those takeaway buckets of fast food. Bucket! I mean, there's your first clue. When did that happen? When did fat people just go in and go, oh, fuck it, Give me, treat me like a farm animal? Just... G <laughs> In fact, just strap it to my fucking head. <laughs> Give me it in a bucket. Give it. How do you like your meal? In a bucket, please. <laughs> you sure you don't just want a big plate? I grew out of plates when I was five, you cunt. I want it in a bucket. <laughs> Fuck's sake. And she's there, and she's chowing down on it, and she turns to her friend and says, this is the best fried chicken I've had all day. <laughs> Unbelievable. But I'm not having a go. I'm not having a go. <laughs> Even though it is their own fault, and it is their own fault, I, I feel sorry for them. Because I found this out, actually, to be fair. I don't know if you know this about fat people. They fucking love cake. <laughs> they love it. You can't leave a cake out, a fat person. You could have just baked a cake for later, and your neighbour, fat neighbour, could come round, she could still be chewing the last of her lunch, and she'd come in and she'd see the cake and she'd just stop, like that. <laughs> and then she'd look at you like that. And you'll go, oh, that's, uh, that's for Brian's birthday. <laughs> do, you want, do you want a little bit? Yeah, go on, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, just, just a little taste. There you go. There. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, that is lovely. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> But I blame the food industries, right? If you go in a supermarket, it's full of that crap. Everything is hydrogenated fats. Everything's got thousands of calories in, like, a, a, a portion. They're injecting calories with calories and deep-frying them and sprinkling on fucking calories, OK? And I think that fat people find that irresistible. They've got no willpower, so I think we've got to help them, OK? And also, have you seen how big the doors are to get into a supermarket? They're... <laughs> They're quadruple. No one gets too big to get through the door of a supermarket, okay? So, and they open automatically. So, no one's using calories by pushing anything, okay? <laughs> it's a good job they do open automatically because they're usually glass, and the fat person's seen the cake from down there and they just did like that, right? And they're, <laughs> and they're grazing. They're grazing like that, right? <laughs> keep the door. Keep the big door. Come on, fat people. You can all get in. You can all get in. I come. Oh, here they come. I can hear them. Here they come, right? <laughs> And they're in there, but when they get in there, it's all fresh fruit and veg and whole grain. So, huh? And there'd be, of course, they'd be flabbergasted at first. They won't understand it. They're, that's not real food to them. They think Brussels sprouts is packaging. They're looking. <laughs> Where's the cake? The cake? The cake? The cakes are over there. Oh, the cakes are over here. The cakes are over here through a human sized door. Oh. <laughs> and they go, oh, oh fucking hell. I can't. I can't get it. I can't get the cake. They take their heels off. They're trying to hook some cake. Right? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Like that. And they don't know what to do. They're starving. So they have to go and eat a banana. <laughs> I know. They go, fuck me. Carrot and nuts, anything. Just try. And they're back and forth. And the fat's falling off them. Right? And soon they can slip through the door and have a cake. And they can't get out again. But. <laughs> But I'm saying we've got to do something. We've got to intervene because we've got to help them. 
And people say, no, 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 nothing to do with you. It's their body, it's their life. Yeah, but we don't say that about wearing a crash helmet or wearing a safety belt, do we? Or if you've got a smackhead in the family, you don't go, oh, it's his body, he loves the old heroin, right? <laughs> you, go, you go, please don't die, please don't stop this shit. And you grab him and you throw him in a cupboard for three weeks or whatever. I'm not, you can't throw a fat person in a cupboard, you do your back in like me, but I'm saying, <laughs> smackheads don't weigh anything, you can fling them around. They don't, they're... <laughs> in fact, when they're lying there, they just get the needle and just flick and they just sort of go in like that. Like that. <laughs> fat people, you've got to lure them in. Just a little trail of M&Ms, they'll follow that anywhere. <laughs> See, I do care. <laughs> oh, God.